Thank you so very much, Jody. And Jody is our, is our leader down here, our co-lead, I should say. He and I uh, have put this thing together. We're so very happy and proud to have uh, a lot of very uh, uh, instrumental, influential stakeholders, law enforcement officers, locally elected people, uh, and some of them have been here for many generations, uh, ranchers and what have you. So I just want to say thank you so very much. I also want to say thank you uh, to, to, for you all being here at this uh, very important event to get the word out, to get the word out on just exactly what is going on down here at the southern border of the United States of America. I want to say thank you to all my colleagues. I want to say thank you to our sheriffs that are here, uh, have come down. And I also want to say thank you to uh, some people who actually have worked in immigration. Mark Morgan, uh, former commissioner of uh, CBP, uh, will be joining us in a little bit. Tom Holman, our, ICE, our former ICE director. Uh, Sheriff Louderback uh, and, uh, is going to be uh, speaking to you as well. And I want to also say thank you to my one of my sheriffs in my district, 36th District of Texas, uh, which is basically Nyan County, from Houston over to uh, Louisiana, uh, Sheriff Brian Hawthorne from Chambers County. Uh, so thank you for all, uh, all of you for being here. This is not political rhetoric, folks. Uh, this, uh, this is the truth we're going to speak. We're going to speak. I'm, I'm a plain spoken guy. Uh, I am a dentist uh, by trade and profession, but I've been serving in Congress in my fourth uh, uh, term. And this is one of the most uh, I think the most serious questions and, and issues that we have that this country is facing, and that is an open border. Folks, what's happening down here is not compassionate, as you're hearing uh, from the uh, Biden administration. It's not humane. Uh, it is a absolutely avoidable. It could have been avoided. You will hear in a little bit that the Biden administration was warned by professionals that if they did away and reversed the policies of President Trump's uh, 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 migrant protection protocols, uh, Title 42, uh, public health restrictions, and uh, do, do away with our national de uh, declaration of, uh, of emergency, these types of things, stop uh, deportations of folks who have had their, their uh, cases adjudicated, that a bad crisis would occur, and that's exactly what's happening. Uh, we, we've been through some of these facilities. We went to Donna yesterday. We saw the uh, uh, the Border Patrol down there uh, and the facility that is supposedly going to hold uh, it, it had a capacity of 250 and guess what there are 5,700 uh, uh, undocumented uh, uh, immigrants that are in that facility right now at, at a cost of millions of dollars every single week. It's, it's incredible what's happening down there. Walking through this facility uh, in the hallway outside of what they used to call cages during the uh, Trump administration and now our influx facilities, uh, I happen to see a, a little three-year-old uh, immigrant, uh, a young, a young a girl, sitting in the hallway playing with her toy. And uh, as a grandfather of 17 grandchildren, uh, it just pulls at your heartstrings. There's nothing humane about what's happening here and the cartels being empowered uh, and the disaster that is unfolding before our eyes today. And, and my heart goes out to these people. But the American people, uh, we are the ones who are paying for this thing. Uh, as they come into this country uh, and empowered the cartels and being lured up here by rhetoric by the, uh, by the Biden administration to open our borders up. And it is incredible what we are seeing today. We are not getting the truth, folks. We are not getting the truth. And that's what we're here to do, is to make sure that this message gets out, that Americans are being endangered, our borders are open, we have COVID uh, being spread into the state of Texas. We found out yesterday they don't even do COVID tests unless these uh, migrants are, are showing signs of, 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 uh, of symptoms of COVID and then they're coming into the state of Texas. So without any further ado, I'd like to just say uh, thanks again, and I'm going to uh, bring my co-lead up here, uh, uh, Joe Harrington from uh, West Texas, and uh, we sure uh, uh, really appreciate what you're doing here at Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. 